Hey everybody, don't mind my Yu-Gi-Oh mouse pad uh, field thing and my big meaty claws here, but I figured I'd try something. Boom. These are called perler beads. Um, as the name suggests, there are a bunch of these little beads, and in this bucket there's about, you can see here, about 5,000 of them. These ones are different kind, they glow in the dark. There's a bunch of different ones. Here's normal colors, I guess you call them. And a special set that they made just for different Harry Potter things. Um, you can see them there. And since I was doing this video, I thought I'd stock up on a whole bunch of other beads and stuff. So I got a whole bunch of materials here in this box. A bunch of the mats and ironing things will come to play later. And here I forgot you can't see through my... Uh, perspective that was you're looking up top but this is something different I thought I'd try this called master of none from the thing knowledgeable of many master of none my parents always say anyway with me trying these so I thought I'd record this one this is um, I'm not sure what you call it exactly not mad or anything but these are the tweezers I used at the beginning. These are actually what I used to feed my lizard. Um, I, I guess it's kind of gross. So you won't see my hand in a bunch in this first part. And here I am doing an unboxing, mini unboxing video for the Harry Potter ones. You see a bunch of those colors and there's a loose bag underneath with another one of those mats. And normally the theme one comes with these templates that you can use. Here you have the different ones because it's Harry Potter. You got all the characters, crests, and everything. And there's some even bigger ones on the back. I only try one of these just to uh, show you like a mini version of the process. And there's the loose bag of all the other colors. And here I saw like a, a little problem with the Harry Potter set uh, is that it came with the red one and I already had the clear one. But the idea of it is you're supposed to put the thing on the back of there. But with there, there's no way you could see it through the what red one that it came with. So I thought that was kind of redundant. But personally I liked it because it was red. So I'm going to be using the clear one. The patterns are normally to the size that they would be on there, so you could just put it underneath. And I will be doing the Gryffindor one because I am uh, indeed a Gryffindor. So here's a little sped up. Here's a little time lapse, I'm sorry, of uh, the process.
All right, sorry that took a while, but with uh, even with how much it was sped up, that little Gryffindor thing took about 25 minutes, not counting the time it took to iron it, and here it is. This is the ironing paper I was talking about. You put it on top and use like a clothing iron, and it kind of melts them and molds them together. It makes it more flexible on one side, but not as flexible on the other. But it turned out pretty cool. And on the side, I also did this little boo that I found uh, online. Someone already did through the glow in the dark ones. And that red light is just for my lizard cage. So you can find plenty of these online. If you don't want to come up with your own, you can find some other cool ones. Now this one could probably fit on there. The Gryffindor one definitely fit on there. So I'm not going to do a small one, I'm not even just to use one. I'm going to use all four of these, probably not fill up the entire thing. But I'm going to try to make a pretty sizable one.
So for the background, I use the glow in the dark perler beads and that is only about half of the background and just that half took an, a whole hour. And here I am, I tried to iron the whole thing using just wax paper and this is what's very dangerous about this besides burning yourself is you can easily destroy literally hours of your own work. So I had to take peel them off of there and place them back to where they were. So that was an hour just for half of it, not counting fixing it. But here's the end product. Honestly, I'm uh, I'm proud about how it turned out. Uh, some of the areas you can see like around the head were ironed a little bit more than the others. And I might try to fix that later, trying to completely iron the whole thing so you can seal it. But another thing you could do is if you want like the little holes uh, for whatever reason, you can flip it over to the other side, which I probably should have done and uh, probably should have done the lettering backwards but anyway I'm proud of it and thanks for watching and if you want to see more videos like this in a master of none series where I try different materials and stuff and do a video of it and put it out there for you to watch I'll be glad to do so